Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with good works, but the problem is the Masonic Lodge uh, claims in its very own writings to be a religion, that every Mason is a minister of this religion. And uh, when you get involved in the Masonic Lodge, uh, I mean, every Mason who is watching this program knows that in the very first initiation, in order to join what is called the Blue Lodge, uh, every Mason will go through an initiation where he is uh, brought before an altar and he will bow at that altar and before, behind that altar stands a man he calls the Worshipful Master of the Lodge. And as he's bowing at this altar, he says, I'm lost in darkness and I need the light of Freemasonry. And then every Mason is required to take a blood oath of allegiance where he is sworn to secrecy and every Mason will put his thumb to his throat and will swear a blood, blood oath not to reveal the secrets of Masonry or he'll have his throat cut from ear to ear. And then how could any Christian, and this is what disturbs me so deeply, is that we have Christian men who join the lodge, they bow at an altar before, they, before a man they call the worshipful master. You know, Jesus said, you cannot serve two masters. And every man out there has to decide, are you gonna follow the worshipful master of the lodge or follow the only worshipful master, Jesus Christ? You cannot serve two masters. And then to take a pagan blood oath, which James chapter five says is an abomination to God. And take a blood oath to have your throat cut from ear to ear, your bowels ripped open. That's just the first of many oaths as you go along in your degrees in masonry, right? And after you go through the first three degrees of what is called the Blue Lodge, uh, Masons are then allowed to go into either the Scottish Rite or the York Rite, uh, <clears throat> 30 second degrees in the Scottish Rite or 13 in the York Rite. And there they go through a progression of rituals and degree work where they give worship and honor to Egyptian gods, Persian gods, Greek gods, Babylonian gods. And at its very heart, and you can read the authorities of Freemasonry, read Albert Mackey, Encyclopedia of Freemasonry, History of Freemasonry, read Albert Pike, his Morals and Dogma, uh, the authority, so authoritative, he's the only man buried in the Masonic Lodge in Washington, D.C. And they will tell you that Masonry is a religion, and they claim to be the revival of the ancient, ancient mystery religions of Babylon and Persia and Egypt. And what these Babylonian cults were, were fertility cults, right. where they worship the male organ. And this is why, for example, when a Mason goes into the lodge, every Mason is, receives this white lambskin apron, and they will wear this as a covering. In Freemasonry, they say that all religions are the same. It doesn't matter which religion you are. And uh, they say Jesus, Buddha, Confucius, Muhammad, the name means little. What did Jesus say? Yeah. I am the way, Absolutely. I am the truth, I am the life. There's no other way of the Father but by me. Peter said there's no other name under heaven by which you can be saved. How can you profess to be a Christian and turn around and, and buy that? Where I live, I had one of the leaders of the Masonic Lodge in our town uh, give me a call. In fact, he was, uh, the chaplain of the shrine. And he said, how dare you say that I'm not a Christian? He said, I'm an elder in my church. I teach Sunday school in my church. And I stopped him, I said, sir, I said, if you were to die and stand before God today, and he should ask you, why should I let you into my heaven? I said, what would you say to him? And there was silence on the phone for about 10 seconds. And finally he said to me, he said, well, I guess I would have to tell God I was a good Mason. Because you see, Freemasonry claims to be a religion of morality, that through their own good works and through their own good efforts, they say, look at the children's hospitals, look at the burn units, look at the things we support. You know, there's nothing wrong with good works, but friends, good works are not gonna save you. Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Psalm 37, one through three.